Hello everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. Today I'm going to be walking you through how to install this Flutter script, Thunder Food, uh, from this amazing website called Canyon.net. Alright, so uh, the first thing you can do is to search for your script. So you can search for this script and uh, you select the script and you want to go ahead to read through the little documentation here and um, know what the app is about so once that is done you can check for screenshots available screenshots down here and once you're done with that you go ahead to add this script to cards uh, so once you click on add to cards a pop-up shows uh, about the details of the application and uh, the pricing and all that so uh, the first thing you want to do the next thing you want to do rather is to go to checkout so this um process is going to request for your credentials and all that to complete the payment so for my case i'm not gonna uh, uh, go through this process because i've already purchased this script uh so we can go ahead to do your purchase uh it's a straightforward process so go to checkout complete the payment and uh the script to be downloaded into your um, your system all right so once that is done and you've successfully installed your script you want to go ahead to uh, move into getting the required tools uh, in order to run this flutter script that you just purchased so you want to go ahead to go to docs.flutter.dev uh, this is Flutter's official website and uh, we're going to be downloading Flutter here because Flutter uh, is okay required in order for you to um, run Flutter in your, in your local machine. So for our case, we're going to be installing uh, on Windows. So you can choose any of these options based on your um, operating system. Okay, once that is done, you want to go ahead to choose your first type of application. So for us, uh, Thunderfoot is a mobile application, so for Android. Uh, so the next thing you want to do is to check your system requirements and hardware requirements. So uh, your yeah, so software requirements, confirm that your system meets all these requirements in order to um, start using Flutter in your mobile, uh, in your system. Alright, so once you're done with that, you just want to go to this install Flutter SDK and you see the option to download and install. So what you want to do is to go ahead and click on this button. Uh, so currently we have Flutter 2.9.1, uh, Flutter 3.2.9.1. So you're just going to go ahead to uh, download this and once you're done, you just want to create a new directory where you can just extract Flutter SDK into that directory and once you do that you just want to go ahead to update your windows path so go through this um, documentation and follow the guide it's straightforward and you're going to be able to do these three things that i just said right now so once that is done we want to get our integrated development environment and uh for this we're going to be using visual studio so go ahead and type visual studio download and go to this first one code forward slash visual studio.com forward slash download and in that you have different options in order to download visual studio code and uh, for us we're going to be using windows so you can just go ahead to click on this option right here and um, and uh, Visual Studio is automatically going to be installed. So, once you're done with that, um, you're good to start using Visual Studio. And for those of us that want to use Android Studio, you just go to Android uh, Studio here. So this is um, Android Studio. So you just want to go ahead to download Android Studio Maker, which is the current um, uh, version of Android Studio at the time. So when you click on this, you're going to see the um, pop-up to read the terms and conditions. Uh, and then you just want to go ahead to say you've read after you've completed reading the documentation and then you go ahead to download. 
all right so once that is completed the next thing you want to do is to go inside your visual studio code so i'm going to just go into a new window right now and once you do that you just have to locate or get the location of your installed or purchased script so for me i have it just right here uh, and um once you're done with that you're just gonna open it right here and then then you can go ahead to do flutter pop get all right so this is how our application looks like after everything has been successful uh so we have this slide the screen and then we can get started so you just want to go ahead and allow this while you're in the application and yeah that is how to install a flutter script uh, from both pioneer.net um, thank you very much see you next time